Hey, here we are again with a new video on how to use medication. And in this video, I will cover everything you need to know about bupropion. So if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands, and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself, as well as you, my viewer. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe, so you will hopefully never miss a future video. Now, let's quickly start before everybody clicks away to a new video, because I, again, ramble too long. An insanely fast disclaimer, this video is meant purely informational, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now the generic name of this medication is bupropion, but it's sold under several brand names like Welbutrin, Zyben, and it's only available as a tablet. Now then, when to use bupropion? First of all, it can be used to treat a depression. But it's not the antidepressant of first choice, as there are other antidepressants with which there is way more experience and therefore they are safer in first instance to use. And secondly, bupropion can also be used to support quitting smoking. And for those of you watching actually planning to quit smoking, I already made a more general video on how to quit smoking. It covers all the tips and tricks and you can find it in the description. But then how to use bupropion? As I already told you, bupropion is only available as a tablet. Now it's important that you swallow the whole tablet with a glass of water. Do not chew on it and do not crush it, as the tablets are made in such a way that they slowly release the active medicine over a period of a few hours. And if you chew on the tablet, this effect will be gone. In addition, my advice would always be to take the tablet at fixed times. Preferably in the morning if you need to take a tablet once a day, or in the morning and in the afternoon if you need to take a tablet twice every day. Prevent taking the tablet in the evening, as doing so might increase the side effects you experience. And make sure there is at least 8 hours between taking the tablet in the morning and in the afternoon. Now then, what would be the correct dosage to take? If you're taking bupropion for a depression, use the brand Welbutrin. Start with a dose of 150 mg once a day. And if the effect is insufficient after 4 weeks, you can increase it to a maximum of 300 mg once a day. Treatment usually lasts 6 months or sometimes even more and during that time your depression slowly fades away. Bupropion also reduces your chances on getting another depression in the future, which is also a win. If you want to use Bupropion to quit smoking, use the brand Zyben and start using it while you're still smoking and then gradually reduce the number of cigarettes you smoke each and every day until you actually quit it smoking in the second week you're using Bupropion. This treatment can be combined with nicotine patches and I already made a video on those ones and you can find it in the description. The starting dose is 150 mg once a day and after 4 weeks you can increase it to 150 mg twice a day. It's important here that there is at least 8 hours between both tablets. Treatment usually lasts 7 to 9 weeks after which the dose gradually is reduced. If you forget to take a tablet you can just skip it and take the next tablet when you usually do so. And this brings us to the side effects. Unfortunately, bupropion has some. I will read some of them out loud, but I will show all of them on the screen. Commonly we see insomnia, a headache, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, belly pain. Commonly we see weight loss, a fast beating heart, increased blood pressure, and rarely we see a low blood pressure, muscle twitching, and cramps. Now then, this brings us on safety and it's very important that we stay safe when using medication. Therefore, my first advice would be to avoid driving the first week when you're using bupropion. This is because you might experience some side effects like dizziness and confusion, which do not exactly make driving more safe. The same is true when you increase your dose. However, after using it one week, most people are used to the effects of bupropion and then it's safe to drive. However, only do so if indeed you're not experiencing those side effects. Secondly, my advice would also be to avoid using alcohol in combination with bupropion as it might also increase the side effects you're experiencing. And that's not what we want. Now then lastly, what if you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding? Then my advice would be to avoid bupropion. It's unclear what the effects are on your baby, but there are signs that it might be harmful. Therefore, try to avoid it if you can and always contact your doctor if you have any questions. 
thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. Also, feel free to share this video with anyone you know that's also using Bupropion and might have any questions. I'm trying to help as many people as I possibly can here. And if you found this video helpful, then please also leave a like. This will help out your channel tremendously and let YouTube know this video is worth recommending to anyone Googling for how to use Bupropion. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss next week's awesome medical video. And as always, see you then. Bye-bye.